everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hydro's Garage. I'm really excited to have you guys here today. The product that we're going over is Hydro Silex Wheel Cleaner. I wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how to properly use this product, how to get the best results out of it, and some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to the wheel cleaner. So today our test subject is a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. This thing is big, it's heavy, it's dirty, and if you come take a look at the wheels, they are absolutely caked on with brake dust. And I just wanna walk you through the process on how to use the wheel cleaner and how to get the most uh, performance out of that product without having to do the brake, back braking work of scrubbing each one of these spokes independently. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're not in direct sunlight and that the brakes are not hot. This truck hasn't been driven for a few hours so the brakes are nice and cold. When the brakes are hot and you spray water or cleaning agents onto it, you can damage the rotor or the metal and it can cause it to warp which will then affect the, the, the braking under uh, driving. So you wanna make sure that the brakes are cool, the paint is cool, and the wheels are cool to the touch also. The one time that Hydrostatix wheel cleaner can't be used is if you have a car that has carbon ceramic brakes on it. So for example, if you have a BMW M3 that has the carbon brake package on it, you can't use this product. Or if you have a Lamborghini or a high-end car that has a carbon brake system, the acids that are inside the wheel cleaner will actually cause harm to the carbon rotor. So you just wanna make sure that you don't use it. But any other car that has standard rotors, standard pads, this is very effective and very safe to use. Wheels that have factory finishes are also completely safe and wheels that have been powder coated are also completely safe to use this product. The one thing that you wanna be mindful of is when you spray the product on, don't let it sit too, too long. Some people spray it on, they're like, oh, I'll come back in 20 minutes. What can happen then is that the acid can actually start breaking up some of the finish of the wheel. So you just wanna make sure that when you spray it on, you keep a close eye on it, you give the product a few minutes to break down the contamination, which is the brake dust, obviously, and then you rinse it off with high pressure water from there. This wheel cleaner, while it smells extremely strong and most people don't like the smell of it, it's extremely effective. And the reason is that the chemical composition of the product allows it to target specifically the brake dust that's on your wheel, which is why it's so good. So it's an acid-based wheel cleaner, whereas most are an all-purpose cleaner. So that'll just be kind of a, a spray that you spray onto and it'll clean some of the surface you know, dirt, but this wheel cleaner really gets into the nitty gritty and does all the heavy lifting for you. So if you take a look at this wheel, this is actually supposed to be chrome. It's absolutely caked on with brake dust. So you don't even need to pre-rinse the wheels. You just take the Hydrocelix wheel cleaner and you spray it on. So you cover it in an even mist. Um, what I do recommend is before you do that, I'm gonna grab a pair of gloves. The product, because it smells so bad, I do recommend gloves because once it gets on your fingers, it does you know, take a little while to get out of there and it's kind of an annoying smell. So I like to wear gloves. Um, obviously this isn't a requirement. It's not gonna damage your skin or anything like that. It's more so just for smell prevention uh, because the, the product smells once again, quite bad. So if it gets into your skin, it's gonna be really annoying. So you take the product and you simply, let me just grab our hose, get that out of the way for you guys. You take the product, make sure that the sprayer is on and you take it and you spray a nice even mist onto the wheels. Now you can get the caliper in and around. It's okay if you get the rotor in the back, okay? And just make sure you get a nice even coat or lather of the Hydrostatics wheel cleaner on there. Now, what's immediately gonna start happening is if you look on the rotor in the back here, so you can see the color change right here, that kind of run effect, that's completely normal. That's gonna happen on the surface of the wheel too. It's just the reaction, it's the standard chemical reaction, it's gonna start breaking down the brake dust. So on this side, I missed a couple of spots, so I'm just gonna spray a little extra. It's okay if you get overspray onto the rubber. This product actually will not clean the rubber. It only will work on metal and brake dust. So you can see just how heavily caked on this wheel is with the brake dust. It's doing a really, really nice job of breaking it down naturally on its own. Let me get a little bit right there too. If you come take a look right here, take a look at this on the floor. This right here is all the sludge and grime and brake dust that's naturally washing away. Um, so we'll fast forward this because it's gonna take about, you know, three to four minutes for the product to fully bake in. Once again, don't leave it on for more than five minutes. That would be my recommendation. Anything beyond that, you risk causing harm to the surface, you know, of the wheel. So just sit there, let this break in. While you're doing this wheel, you can go to the back wheel, coat the other wheel in the back, and then work your way around. All right, guys, I'm back. We haven't touched the wheel. It's been about three to four minutes. Um, so just wanna make this quicker for you guys in the video, obviously. So 
the, the, the product is working really, really well. There's tons of uh, brake dust and sludge and grime kind of coming off. You can see the black puddle here on the floor. I'm gonna take the, um, the hose. This is you know high pressure hose, standard head, nothing crazy. You can use a pressure washer. With pressure washer, you'll get better results, but this is completely fine to do. So I'm just gonna rinse it from the top down and then you're gonna come take a closer look at the performance. It's absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so as you're rinsing the wheel off, you'll just see all the black stuff coming out on the floor right here. This is totally fine. You wanna make sure that you get all the product off. Make sure you do a thorough rinse, remove all of the contamination, all of the product cleaner off. And now you can see, without even having to lift a finger, the wheel is pretty much back to its original condition. It's still a little bit dirty. It will require a little bit of scrubbing. So some wheels, you can spray this on and rinse it off and it'll clean pretty much 90% of it. But most of the time you're gonna have to spray this on, agitate it a little bit with a brush just to remove any extra dirt and buildup that's on here because this hasn't been cleaned for a few weeks. Agitate it with a brush and then rinse it off and you're pretty much good to go. Um, you can even see that I cleaned the brake caliper. I didn't even touch the brake caliper. So this was just the, the, the product itself. It performed really well to clean the heavy brake dust buildup on this Brembo caliper. Um, the wheel itself, very little bit of grime left. And if I had agitated the surface with a brush, it would look absolutely immaculate. Once again, remember this is a 5,000 pound truck. This is the front brake system on it. This is where the heaviest, most buildup happens. Um, so once again, I highly encourage you guys to grab a, a, a bottle of Hydrostatix wheel cleaner. It works very, very well. Um, and it takes a lot of the heavy lifting out of cleaning wheels. You know, it's really annoying to have to get into all the nooks and crannies. So spray the product on, let it sit for a few minutes, rinse it off with high pressure water. If you use a pressure washer, you'll get even better results because there's higher pressure. It'll remove more contamination. And if you use a brush to agitate the surface, the results will be even better. So that's kind of it for today's episode, guys. I just want to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to use Hydrostatics wheel cleaner. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully you liked the video. Drop us a comment below. If you have any questions about the product at all, give us a like and subscribe to the video and stay tuned next week for the next episode. Thanks so much.